I don't think it's possible to put into words the scope and scale of the wave that is about to break on our community. And this will be a defining moment in our lives and the lives of our children. How we respond today as a community is going to be embedded into our legacies. For JFS, we've been around for 128 years. In that time, we've always viewed our mission as being here for the most vulnerable in our community. And today, that's no different. I don't know where I would be without the help of JFS, making me feel like part of the community instead of sleeping in a doorway. From the moment we arrived in America, we never felt alone. Rental assistance, medication. JFS had the avenue and the navigation I needed to get back on my feet. What JFS gave me was the confidence that you know, my family would be taken care of, but also that I could take care of myself. Because of places like this, there's a lot less homeless people out here. That was my last resort, and you guys were there for me. JFS has been so kind and confident, and the two together is what you need in this world. I have come to absolutely love this community deeply, because this community really is there for anybody who needs help. In a normal day, many of the people that turn to JFS have to decide between buying food, paying their rent, paying their utilities, buying their medication. This is not an ordinary day. We are gonna see this in a scale that's um, frankly, I think gonna be incredibly difficult to comprehend. The day after the first case was announced in Seattle, we met with a crisis response team to start planning. You know, we've been doing things in a particular way, very face-to-face -face for 128 years. Within a week, we had to completely stand up an entirely different model. Our counselors are ready to do online counseling. Case managers are ready to support you. We are anticipating a tremendous increase in the amount and need of home delivery. Home delivery service allows for the most vulnerable of us to receive much needed food and other resources without having to put themselves at significant additional risk. Just today, I have gotten calls from local churches as well as synagogues asking for help. We have an obligation to our community to be a part of the solution, and my request to all of you is that you help us. There are moments these days where I find myself overwhelmed with what's happening. One of the things that helps ground me is thinking about what can I do to help. One of the things that I love about working at JFS is that we get the opportunity to work with all different kinds of people, and we get to be a part of giving them something that's gonna change their life. This is a moment in time when Jewish Family Service and our entire community, and frankly our whole nation, is being tested. If there was ever a time where we needed to rise to that challenge, this is it. Whether it be through financial resources, food donations, donations of time in the food bank or through home delivery. Every bit matters. Now more than ever, we need your support. We know this is a scary time for many people, but we really do need you. And know that we are here for you as well. Please take care of yourself and take care of your family. Mm -hmm.